got the Swamish nature. And Google Jacobs is here as well. Google Jacobs is here. Chief Google Jacobs is coming for. And Chief Ian Campbell. Who loves you? I love you. The respected elders. To the survivors, to the commissioners, to our great chief, Bobby Joseph, thanking you for doing what you've done. As I look out at the sea of umbrellas, <laughs> I see many different nationalities. To me, this is the first step of us creating a common agenda to number one, treat each other as great human beings that we all are. My respected elders here, I thank you for persevering and providing us younger ones the strength to continue what we do for our people. I don't know I have much more to say other than this has been a historic week wherein many of our survivors have had the opportunity to shed some of those things that have been bearing heavily on their hearts and their minds, their souls. And hopefully this is the first step to them providing themselves an opportunity Number one, themselves, to heal what's in their hearts and in their minds. So I thank you. I don't know where my young chief is. Where are you? Look, the OCM, Chief Ian Campbell. Hoichika Cockleton Siam. Thank you to our Chief Cockleton and Hoichika Tanoya. I say you're quite it. We are with an ox with an hotly quach no me with. I actually caca on a tiam. Now a whip it on this all winch it. Watch up Otam Otam Yab. Thank you to Cockleton, to Chief Gibby Jacob, and to our elders. We love you and thank you so much to all of our friends and our family for being here this afternoon, or this morning, sorry. We are here in Kam Kamalai, one of the place names of our Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waal territories. We are right next to a very important place called Squachais. Can I hear everyone say Squachais? Squachais. Wow, that was beautiful, Squachais. That means that sacred portal into the spirit world where the waters once flowed down here in Falls Creek this was all marshes and sloughs down here. One of those marshes was that doorway into the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So transformation will occur today as we walk through the traditional territories of our Coast Salish people. We have to believe that we are amidst transition and transformation as a people, as a society, as a race, as a country. And this is truly beautiful on this day that the Creator is cleansing us with this beautiful rainfall. Mm -hmm. Nurturing life-giving water that sustains everything on all life on earth. That is why we are here today to cleanse, to reconcile. It is possible transformation. What we have been asked to do here today is invite you all to witness. And as witnesses of our Coast Salish traditions, we are adhering to our laws of this land. We are adhering by respecting these old ancient teachings. So as a witness, you are all a part of this transformation to take that message home with you, to take it in the next coming days and share it with your loved ones, to keep that flame alive, to rekindle that fire that makes love, that makes us feel a part of that spirit and that connection. So we are going to be standing up a few of our representatives this morning. As soon as our delegates are ready with the blankets, we want to do a sacred ceremony called Asemko. Asemko is to wrap them in a blanket Many of you are wearing the beautiful regalias from your territories, the blankets that were bestowed on us by our elders and our ancestors. 
These blankets represent warmth and love. And the way that our brothers explain is when our children are first born, they are cleaned and they're wrapped in, in a blanket to show comfort and love. Throughout the stages in our life, we are blanketed and wrapped. As we become an adolescent, we're wrapped again and told you're just as important as the day you were born. And as we become uh, married and as we become adults, we're once again wrapped. Every stage of our life, we do this ceremony to express our love and gratitude to each other, to embrace each other with warmth. So as soon as our family is ready, we're going to be calling up individuals. So thank you for your patience. As you walk today, I want you to really think about where you are, not only in this concrete jungle of this modern chapter of our history, but look at it through the eyes of spirit, through the eyes of love, that wherever we walk through here, this land is laden with mythology. We have been invisible in our own land for too long. The average person walking up and down these streets does not know the breadth of our history, and that is why we are here to change this. That is reconciliation, is coming together to recognize the thousands of years of history and contribution that First Nations continue to make to this country. Abject poverty is no longer acceptable to our people. Why should we be poor in our own lands? So this is the time. You are all a part of this great movement. And let's continue to spread this message of peace and love with each other. Squatchais, remember that portal, Squatchais. It is all around us. We must believe. So. Oh, it's a